It was a bit of a mixed night uh, for financial markets on, on Friday night. We had some pretty soft data out of the, the US, uh, but US share markets managed to uh, hold on to uh, onto small gains. Uh, we saw tech stocks boosted by a, a reasonable uh, company report from Oracle. That certainly helped there. But the data was pretty soft. Uh, we had inflation figures out for the states, and inflation in America right now is very benign with annual inflation rates of around 1%. It's really not a big problem for the, uh, for the central bank to, uh, to worry about inflation at the moment. We also had uh, consumer confidence figures out in the states, and they weakened somewhat. The US consumers looking fairly cautious right now. Now this is a bit of a concern for us. The US is uh, one of our biggest trading partners, so we're always interested to know how the, uh, how the US consumers are feeling. One of the main focuses on Friday nights was a, uh, a rumour that Ireland was uh, in, uh, facing financial difficulties along the lines of the Greek situation, although officials have, have said that this isn't the case. The rumour still saw uh, some people move from, uh, from the euro into the US dollar and into safe haven uh, US government bonds. In that uh, environment, we also saw the, uh, the New Zealand dollar come off its uh, recent peak. We're at 73 and a half cents and uh, we've slipped below the 73 cent mark. And against the Australian dollar, we're still trading at uh, 77 and a half cents, so very weak on that particular cross rate. Today's a pretty hefty uh, week for data. Domestically, we've got uh, our own gross domestic product figures. So the national accounts are released through this week and that'll give us a, uh, a measure of the economic expansion in the second quarter. And uh, we'll sure that those figures will show that the recovery is slowly grinding away here. Elsewhere, we get an uh, interest rate announcement from the US Federal Reserve. Now we're not expecting uh, any interest rate changes there, but the US economy has been going through uh, quite a soft patch of late and we'll be very interested in the, uh, the central bank's assessment of, of that and just what their intentions are for uh, interest rates and financial markets going forward.